He had simply fallen in love with her. His first moments of fragmented bursts of infatuation had resolutely melded into true love. For the rest of his life, he knew she was the one for him. And now he wished to demonstrate his love, his devotion to her, by toasting a glass of wine to her. There is, he thought, just something nice, or something even special, when sipping a glass of wine. He pondered. Was it perhaps just the feel of the glass in one's hand? Or the color of the wine, as it appears through the texture and color of the glass? The light from the small square window just behind her face gently sparkled through his small, liquid-filled cathedral with such iridescent transparency. For this particular moment, he believed, red wine married well with this simple glass, a glass, he believed, solely meant to hold only a red wine. And not too dark of a red wine, mind you. Through the glass, the light must be allowed to naturally transform into softer brilliance, presenting itself in perfect temperature, almost intoxicating. His visual senses were enfolding him with clasping contentment. Yes, he thought, the glass he was holding must be as perfect as the wine that was in it. She sat so still, so quiet. He adored the smoothness in her cheeks. He cherished the way her hair flowed, like golden brushed wheat. He loved watching her in her glowing radiance. He imagined her hidden fragrance, much like the delicate bouquet of his red wine, a cool, thin, sweet fog, eliciting an awakening of sleeping sensations, a spirited, scented garland, he thought, that anoints of anticipation. In his myriad of thoughts, she never flinched from her gaze, her eyes focused, serene. If she had ever blinked, he would not have noticed. He wished to taste her. He held his wine glass closer to his lips. He craved her sweetness, the sweetness he was about to taste from his red wine. An explosion of berry and currant flavors laced with hints of spice and soft tannins. Suddenly, without warning, his wine glass was ripped from his hand. I repeat, sir, you must fasten your seat belt. The pilot will be landing us momentarily. Across the center aisle of his descending commercial aircraft, he watched his anonymous princess dutifully close her reading book, click her seat belt, adjust her seat back and folding tray into their full upright position, and turn away to stare out her window. And with that, the flight attendant whisked away his most precious and yet still unsipped glass of red wine. And never would he set eyes upon it, nor her, ever again.